Hey guys, it's What If, and um, some NASCAR video game news of some capacity, and dare I say, relatively kind of big news. So Mike Straw on Twitter, uh, Daring also uh, clipped the video, uh, people on Twitter uh, recapped the, this uh, insider gaming video of what was said in it. As always, big props to Mike Straw for always getting the scoop on information. So basically what uh, Straw said in, in a clip notes version is that the uh, exclusivity that Morrisburg Games has to make a NASCAR game is going to be coming to an end, or at least that's going to be over with. Um, September 30th has been the date of a lot of speculation of what's going to happen. Um, but I at first thought it was just going to be some kind of rumor. I wasn't really sure. Sure, you know, when you hear September 30th, but it was coming from people like Alan Bailey, who I believe is a pretty good, credible source for information or just getting inside scoop of stuff. And I don't think he would be putting his reputation on the line for something like that if it wasn't true. So I think there is some validity to that. So September 30th, something's happening. I don't know what that could really mean. I, I guess I could do some irresponsible speculation. Um, my original thought was maybe that's like the in like their weird licensing agreement that september 30th they have to have a new nascar game because again my mind still goes back and forth on if there is supposed to be a yearly game out every year i don't know but they have at the bare minimum scraped that bottom of the, of the freaking barrel to get a nascar game out every year because we had ignition that was late october uh, NASCAR Rivals, that was late October as well, which is basically just a Heat 5 game, just downscaled, um, that breaks more. If you see my supercuts, you, you, you understand um, the frustration that game gave and, and everything. So they are barely meeting that quota, like barely. Like it is like borderline almost unplayable because the game crashes like every two races and it's just an absolute nightmare my game crashed like 32 times in like 41 videos that's that's atrocious and it's not even counting like off camera things that happened even before i started the counter so it's probably like in the 40s but yeah again the game crashed 40 plus times probably um yeah unacceptable <laughs> uh yeah there's just too many things to list why now scrolls is frustrating but if there is that quota which I don't even know if that even makes sense because, like I said, Ignition came out in October, Rivals was in October, um, the Heat games came out in September, but I don't think the September 30th has I, I don't think anything to do with this this contract. They're like that that's that's the date when things have to come out. I I don't know. I really don't think so. Um, but I guess this also kind of squanders a speculation of mine. I thought this big announcement because remember this article or something else came out. Adam Stern like linked big announcement substantial news and then i read the article and like nothing was substantial in it it was just like oh maybe there's a new game coming and, like it was just very vague and just really nothing i was almost gonna make a video on it but it was only like five minutes long and i really didn't think it was worth mentioning because so i'll just throw, you'll spit it out here but i do think there's again some credibility to that statement um because also today i'm recording this on the 16th but today or at least yesterday, uh, it was announced that this NASCAR Arcade Rush is coming out September 15th. So why would this substantial news thing theoretically be September 30th if the Arcade Rush is coming out? Like, it's not it's not for the release date of Rush. That is unrelated to that. So we could scrap that out the window. But what are my thoughts, obviously, on just the exclusivity rights for Morrisport Games to make NASCAR Games being gone? Naturally good. It's good to have competition. Remember early 2000s between Monster Games and EA? They were making their games and, and all that. Competition is healthy. It will give developers that push, that desire, and urge to make a quality game. And that will help. Because once you have the exclusivity, you, you basically get complacent and you don't really have to try as hard. And it's just, look what happened. Like the last... I would almost say 20 years, NASCAR games have dwindled. People can argue like NASCAR 5, but that was kind of like the beginning because the exclusivity happened uh, September of like 2003. So this is right around when Thunder 04 was just being released or right around that window. 
So that was like the last year that when they were making Thunder 04, or yeah, Thunder 04, the, the devs and everything, people were making it. They were making it with the mindset like, oh, there might be, there was no exclusivity, exclusivity right? So they were, they were going balls all out just to make a quality game. And then you saw NASCAR 05, quality dipped a little bit. NASCAR 06, it just continued to dip more and more. And really the only big shiny beacon since like Thunder 04 was NASCAR Heat 4 which was a game that really revamped the gameplay and made that a lot more tolerable of an experience. Still was lacking in areas, but at least the core gameplay was way better, and it was just overall very fun to play. That time period was very fun just to experience that game because I knew what the devs were doing and how what they were like what their approach was for the game, and it was a phenomenal step forward. Just unfortunate, not too long after He4 came out, MSG bought them, and that's why He5 was a copy and paste. So it gives them more time to work on Ignition, which was an absolute debauch, a failure. But it's really good to just get this exclusivity rights just being gone. So there's an open market for anyone to do whatever. Now, who are these people that are going to be doing it? It's who's to say. It could be this Millstone or whatever the company that does Arcade Rush. Um, they could maybe do yearly games, which... I don't want to get into like of the Rush game because it's literally just... NASCAR logos scatter throughout things. It's it's barely it, you barely even qualify as a NASCAR game, really. Um, it's not like NASCAR Unleashed. It's like it's a different. It, it's it's inspired by it, but I mean it's about as far removed from NASCAR as possible. I mean, it, I don't buy a NASCAR game for the logo. Like it, it, I, I don't know, maybe there's some like um, Pornhub specialist out there that tracks. I don't know. I'm no expert, but that's just my my two cents. But yeah, but yeah, I do think an open market for it is good. It's healthy, it's fine, I like that. What does September 30th mean when this comes out? It could mean MSG is completely done, or September 30th is the full like announcement that more people can, you know, either NASCAR makes an announcement or there's going to be an article. Something's going to come out that their MSG's exclusivity rights are gone. It could be something as simple as that, or September 30th could mean somebody that is already kind of working on an NASCAR game is going to be like announced so like for something in 2024. My speculation, if there is going to be a new game, not this year, not by any means, unless there's just, I mean, not factoring Arcade Crush or whatever, but there's not anything can be coming new this year. Probably late next year or early 2025. Um, that's also if this contract has a stipulation of there has to be a new game out every year, come hell or high water, if it's like Ignition, just release it. I, I, I can't imagine that's that's what really happened with Ignition. It, I, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I've gone back and forth on it. But even still, why on earth would they release an abomination of a game that was not ready? It would never even been ready because it, nothing. <laughs> it's just that, that game. Again, that's a whole other tangent, tangent about the fucking game engine and all. What game engine is the best? Like, the Ignition had the best possible game engine you can possibly fathom across all the lands of Game Engine Land. But it all comes down to the people behind it. The game engine is just a glorified freaking tool for it. And it all comes down to the human beings behind it to code and tinker with the settings and to make it as playable as possible. I will 100% take a NASCAR Heat 4 that's on the Unity engine, that while physical-wise is not groundbreaking, but at least everything functions on the most basic cosmetic level. Yes, that is how low the bar has gotten, where just things functioning. There are cautions that work. Um, when some cars cross the finish line, others don't. They go. They don't get put a lap down. Or lucky dog things don't work. Or just the the core fundamental aspects of a NASCAR of NASCAR is just broken. Ignition. You can check off all of those. It is a slog to play and I still randomly play it off camera here and there but after like a half hour I'm just like well that's why I stopped playing because it just it's miserable and the AI are just atrocious uh, the 2022 cars are even more broken which is amazing that's another tangent but yeah it's just yeah and also this is kind of a first or at least this should be a big deal to all the people that want to say ignition's better than heat evolution well, Ignition was so bad that NASCAR finally got rid of their exclusivity rights. 
That didn't happen with Heat Evolution. That didn't happen when NASCAR 2011 the game. It happened with Ignition because that's how freaking legendarily bad it is. That's that's an, that's a feat for NASCAR to be almost blind, deaf, dumb, and stupid at times to not realize or to give give exclusivity rights has been stupid way back in like 2003. It's always been stupid. But for them to come to their senses and I don't know, it's 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 mind boggling. <laughs> It, it, it that's what it took. It took a lot, but they they got it. I think they figured it out finally. They're not. I don't think they're. I don't think they're oblivious to what's going on, which is amazing. <laughs> Didn't think this day would come. Um, maybe September thirtieth is like a renegotiation of the contract to extend another year. I don't know if it's like that. I don't. But then again, no, it's not because they have the apparently MSG had the rights to like twenty twenty eight or twenty twenty nine or something like crazy because in twenty nineteen they got like a ten year contract, which was ludicrous at the time that's just shouldn't even be like it should really just be like a year extension or something like it should not be like oh we're gonna give you 10 years with this company and then look what happened everything just kind of like exploded and fell apart i don't i don't know i don't know anymore but i'm just kind of like theorizing spitballing just what on earth september 30th could mean but um there's been rumors going around ea could come back I mean, I really don't want to. I don't really want that. Uh, they kind of destroyed the F1 games. It's not nearly as fun as they used to be from what I've heard and seen. Um, they've destroyed Madden for decades now. Um, EA really wouldn't be much better. But, I mean, if we're comparing, yes, they would be better than MSG. You could probably boot up the game, and that would be nice. That's the bar. That is the freaking bar. We're just going to be thankful that the game boots up. If they, if I'm in live stream when a new game comes out and I can get to that menu and the game doesn't crash, this a hoodie I'm probably wearing, so I'll probably still be wearing hoodies for the rest of my life, will be ripped off. Socks will be, my socks will be blown off. Because that, that's how ribboning it will be. That's so, it's sad. It's sad that's the bar we're at. But yeah, I mean, would EA be better than Motorsport Games? Yes. By, by literal just, ex, just I think them not even trying would be better. I mean, we're, we're comparing Motorsport games in terms of like a, like a 1 out of 10 starring. Motorsport games is like a, like a 0 0.5. EA might be a 1 or like a 0 0.8. They would be better by te by technicality, but what are we, what are, that, the, the, the limbo bar is so low. It's just ridiculous. But yes. It could be possible. Why would EA even bother to get NASCAR? I mean, they dropped the NASCAR license. Well, they stopped doing like a full Kate, a full like uh, Sim Kate game in like 2008. They did the car racing in 2009, but the Sim Kate stuff ended in 2008, which was 2008 was I think like the first year NASCAR ratings dipped. But that was because of like economic crisis and everything. Which, but yeah, once they saw that dip, that one minuscule dip, which I mean could be that in sales. That's in NASCAR's peak. People consider that like NASCAR's like peak days. They were gone. Why would they come back 15 years later when, you know, I, I just, it wouldn't make much sense unless they just literally want to just lose money. I, I don't understand. So, I mean, it's a possibility, but it's very slim. Could it be Codemasters? I mean, sure, but they seem more prior, uh, prioritized to F1, so I, I don't see that happening. It could be Monster Game slash iRacing. Dale Jr. made a tweet saying, like, imagine if we... How would people feel about Dirt Daytona Remake? People... I, I'm sure a lot of people got pregnant. Many children were born nine months later when that announcement came up because that just... That just got everybody hard for that because everybody loves Dirt Daytona, even though Dirt Daytona's kind of flawed. Yeah, it's kind of flawed. There's a lot of problems with it. I like the career immersion, though. Like, they, they definitely tried, but... Yeah, playing it even on like an emulator. Yeah, it's it's hard to do a normal race without something weird going. It, it's it's not it's not ideal. I think people have rose tinted glasses when they think about Dirt Daytona because it's not as great as people remember, but still pretty solid. Like conceptually, it's it's okay. I for like 2002, and like that was like the first game to really implement multiple series and like it had a really really solid immersive crew. Mode. Like it had the heart. It had the freaking heart. It just was misguided a little bit. So I will forgive it in some aspects, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, Dale Jr. Tweet, I mean, it's possible. I mean, that World of Outlaws game, is, it's fun. I got my gripes with it. There's problems with it that annoy me. Um, it takes way too damn long to 
move up through the ranks or just to get into this like i'm like i was like 25 30 seasons and it's like I, it's hard to even role play because like my driver is gonna be like 70 80 90 years old before he gets into the top tier like it doesn't i can't i can't even i can't even, I kind of i can't even role play um just too many damn series it just takes way too long to get through it and it's just it's very tedious driving was good the ai drove it really it was fine but once you tap them they get like they they get really weird but that's more of a dirt thing i think on the SRX game, like the the late models and like the ovals and stuff, it was pretty good. So, I do have pretty relatively strong hope with Monster Games slash iRacing that uh, collaboration could make a really solid NASCAR game. Um, just, I'm I do think out of the bunch, I think that is the most realistic option. And there's there's some merit Dale Jr. teased about, so it it is the most likely. But you know, don't know. It's just all speculation. So we'll see. What the September 30th uh, date is, and yeah, but overall, I think this is good. It's good to get this. It's good something positive came out of this whole situation finally, because it's been nothing but depression, miserable stuff. I mean, look at the NASCAR console landscape. Motorsport games killed it. Who, who? No one's playing Ignition. No one's like interested in that. No one's touching Rivals. I might have been the only dipshit that did that many episodes of it. But yeah, if there is a new game, I will do my best to. Play the new one as soon as I possibly can, and everything. Same with uh, NASCAR Rush, or whatever. I'll probably do like a live stream or two on it and see if I even want to do a crew mode. Who knows? But I. But overall, it's good. It's good that all this is happening and something positive is coming out. So we'll see how this turns out in the future and all that. So uh, yeah, um, that's really all I have to say. Um, didn't really feel like I need to make a video on this topic for quite a while, but something finally came out that I thought was substantive enough to make a video on. So that's my kind of half rant, half optimism. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. Well, yeah, I'm done. So see ya.